Hello to all of my Taurus. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Taurus, yes, the moon is in Cancer. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. Even if you're on the cusp of Aries or Gemini, Taurus, I am talking to you. Even if Taurus is your MC or IC, I am talking to you, Taurus. The moon is in Cancer. Cancer is the mother and the money sign of the zodiac. So Source is saying this is where you want to get heavy on the self-care and the nurturing. The moon is aligned with our instincts, our need for protection, what's familiar for us that feels good. Like Cancer is the I feel sign. So what feels good? You know, to you do more of that for you. It's also self-care. It's also your relationship with yourself and your relationship with your inner voice. Also, um, nurturing yourself. So, again, I'm talking to you if you have uh, Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. Somebody is definitely on the other side of a long and arduous nightmare. Um, and of something that you've been overthinking and it's a, just a form of self-sabotage. Some kind of heartbreak. Here we have the Nine of Wands. Something is definitely calling you back through your thoughts, like thinking about it. But remember this. So this is fire energy, right? So remember this. We had a super full moon in a fire sign in Aries, right? Aries is ruled by Mars. So Aries, the, the, the tower card is Mars, right? So it's the energy of fighting spirit. Like somebody wants to go back through your thoughts and want to have that fighting spirit. Like, I can't believe I went through all of that and, and I'm mad and I'm such and such. So this is a time where you are around people who you feel like it's a safe space to relax, right? Like if I'm burned out, I don't need any more energies in my ear, eye gate that's reminded me of all the pain I've gone through, the nightmare I've come out of. See how this energy right here, knight of swords right here, see this person on a horse? Listen, I'm getting away from anybody that's talking about it. Anybody that's reminded me of the nightmare I've come through, I don't even want to talk about it. The heartbreak I've gone through, this is the three of swords and also the page of swords, I don't even want to have anything to do with it. I'm, I'm stop talking about it. That's what that's what somebody's gonna have to start. You're gonna have to start speaking up, Jim. Uh, you're gonna have to start speaking up, uh, Taurus. If there's anybody in your life where you feel like somebody just keeps bringing it up, like, see, they're in their mind. They could think I love you and I'm trying to help you through all of this, and they, their intention may be sincere. But if a person, if you tell a person, that's when we had the moon in Gemini. I almost said Gemini because we're coming out of a moon in Gemini. Gemini is the communication and messenger planet, right? But it's also the planet of opinions. Your opinions matter. It's also the uh, planet of um, uh, factual memory. So for you, it, certain things are fact that you're tired of being hurt. You're tired of being disappointed, gaslighted, lied to, lied on, lied under, over, whatever. And people around you who keep talking about it or who keep refreshing your memory, they got to go. They, they got it. They have to go, you know, no matter who they are. Somebody may say, well, I can't cut this person off. The well, then you're going to have to cut off some of the amount of access you give to them. Once they start talking about, I got to go. Mm -mm, I'm trying to heal. Nope. I, I haven't cut you off yet, but stop talking about certain things. So here we have the eight of pentacles, the four of pentacles. We have the justice card here. We have the, the, um, page of uh, knight of wands and also the ace of wands. So there's definitely karma for some energies, right? And karma is not good or bad. I got to remind somebody of that because people still, I don't know if people still keep talking about karma is bad. I can't wait to see somebody get their karma. You could be wishing, you could be, you know, bringing something back on yourself because if people did not mean, because remember the heart is tricky. Heart has a mind of its own. And so Source is trying to get you to healing. And so if you have a person that's constantly pumping hurt into your ear, that's how that's how when you, you keep waiting around with somebody else to feel the pain that they cause you and you see their life getting better and better and better and better and better. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm confused. Like, what is going on? And that could cause you to keep talking about it, keep bringing it up. And Source is like, okay, I need you to release something because... Um, because it may not be what you think it is. Here we also have the Knight of Wands. And see how this person is on this horse? So see, but here and here, a person is on, on their horse, right? On their horse. When you know your crown chakra is aligned, no matter what hurt somebody has done to you, 
you're seeing it, uh, you have an inner standing that we are all connected, right? That It takes a lot of people to get to that crown chakra level because you're like, somebody hurt me deep, deep. This is sword cut hurt. And I can't see how I, I'm connected to that energy, right? Like that, I, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I can't see how I'm connected. But source is helping somebody get back to their throne with a lot of information that's coming across your path. A lot of information that's coming across your path. Pate, Princess of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, your third eye is open. And if you're just in receiving mode of the messages that source is sending to you, Source is showing you um, how some energies, because that sword cuts both ways, they're hurt too, right? So four of pentacles, princes of pentacles. But like I said, justice is in your favor. And sometimes that's all people want to hear is justice is in their favor. And somebody's getting their karma. Yes, I want my, I want this this friend that I was that betrayed me to go through, they I need they know that they hurt me. So it's just saying the sword cuts both ways. So the whole purpose of night energy is for you to save yourself from karma coming back, the karma that you're talking about coming back and hitting you. So and to get to that crown chakra, get that that crown chakra so you can adjust your crown. You may hear a lot of spiritual leaders talk about it. It's just like, oh, you know, leave it alone. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You know, those kind of things. It may be a good idea for those people who believe in, who still attend church. And, you know, I don't have anything negative to say about any church, church period, right? But if that's something that you feel like you want to connect with, like really sitting down and getting some kind of counseling from a pastor or priest Somebody you feel like is a is going to help you get to your throne of of that because there's a lot of heartbreak here. Eight of Swords is two situations in particular that the source is saying it'll drive you crazy trying to figure it out because somebody is still looking for something physical to attach to it. It's two. It could be two people, two places, two things. But somebody either said or did something to you that just really hit, struck a chord in somebody. And you got the uh, three of swords twice, right? So when I say justice is in your favor, what I'm saying to you is source is saying, release that from your scales. Like literally release that from your scales. And trust me, you may not be able to see it, Taurus, but source is also because that this is a lot of air. All of us are air in our lungs, right? You know, that air outside, air you breathe, right? All of us have air, water, fire, and earth in us, right? So source is saying the information is traveling through the air. And it's also traveling to them too, that if you're wishing harm on Taurus, then you're also wishing harm on yourself, you know? So it's best to just go ahead and close it out. So source is saying, hang in there, you know, hang in there with yourself. You're not delusional. You're not going crazy, even though it feels like that when you keep thinking about why do these energies hurt me so bad? Why do they betray me? Why do they talk about me? Why do they do this to me? Why do they break my heart? Source is saying you're asking God. You're not asking them for answers. They may not even have the answers, right? At least not answers that's satisfactory. So here we have the four of cups. So somebody is definitely sitting around ruminating over something and we have the king of cups. Source wants you to get to your throne of your emotions, and eight of cups. And the only way you're going to do that is through staying in your light, focusing on what you, what nurtures your spirit, what nurtures your spirit. Nobody ever gets away with anything. I don't care who you are and I don't care how long ago it was. Nobody gets away with anything. Even people who you think have gotten away with stuff, trust. You may not see it, but, uh, Karma doesn't miss. Karma coming back like that Medea character, right? Coming around and just spinning the block, landing right on people's front door. So no matter where you are, you can't get away from it. So uh, like I said before, somebody is really focusing on, and but like I said, if you're, if you're waiting around seeing it and sources telling you to get on your horse and get as far away from it, you know, then you want to be obedient to source. Just sitting around ruminate over, wait, I, I'm, I got to wait, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I got to see this, I got to see this for myself. It will literally drive you crazy. 
Swords wants somebody to move on with their life. Five of Swords again, Nine of Swords, Two of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, and also the King of Pentacles. Source is going to make somebody very, very wealthy. But Source is trying to give somebody an opportunity to understand truly what karma means. And also, in the meantime, Source is bringing love across your life, but this person is not coming to save you. They are not coming to save you. They don't want to hear about all that stuff being dumped on them emotionally. They come in there to love you. Like, they're literally coming there as a uh, fresh water, right? So, they're not trying to be contaminated with all of that. My ex is this, and my ex-friends, and the people on my job did this, and I can't stand my brother or sister. All of that for therapist's office. Here we also have, like I said before, um, the two of swords. Somebody had on blindfolds when it comes to things. Source is saying, learn. this is about learning lessons, though. It's like, don't let your head and heart be at war with each other. It may be a good idea to start interviewing people. That may be a great idea for somebody. If you want to be my friend, why? We're not in the kindergarten. With all, The only requirement is that our shoes are the same color or that our parents pack the same lunch. It's time to start asking some questions. What church do you believe in? What's your purpose? Do you go to church? Do you believe in God? If you don't, what you believe in? The the most high God or you believe in flesh God? Like what like it's time to ask questions. It's time to ask do you what what kind of stuff do you do? Like how do you how do you what what happened in your last relationship? There should be a lot of questions people are asking, but a lot of people don't. They're just physically still going on flesh. This person seems like a nice person. It isn't that. Ask questions. And be okay with saying, you know what, that doesn't align with where what my purpose is. It's a distraction. I need to close it out. So, and, and don't get offended if somebody says the same thing to you. You don't want to go through this anymore. I, I saw this where it came out twice. Two situations have been a complete nightmare for somebody. And it's just been heavy on somebody's heart. It's been heavy on somebody's mind. And so it's just like, get away from it. You're going to feel so much happier, charismatic, and free. But let me add this again. It's not because of a new love. It is not because, because if you put all of that in there, you're still carrying around all this hurt. You won't even recognize that you're hurting this new love coming across your path. So, yep, let's close it out. Let's close it out. Don't think you're being paranoid, um, Taurus. If you're asking a bunch of questions, <laughs> better you ask a gazillion questions until you feel that somebody has earned your heart. Before you jump back into a friendship or romantic relationship or whatever. And I'm serious. If you feel like you have a dream about something or some kind of download or they slip up and say something. It's not a slip up. It's something source putting it in their mouth. Ask questions. Be okay. Stop being embarrassed because you got to close out relationships. 34. There is no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. That's it right there. It's a lot of growth right there. This tree right here, growth from the inside. And that's what Source is saying. Plant those deep roots from the inside out. Don't be afraid to ask questions, Taurus. I'm serious. It, it, I'm telling you, it can save your life. And if you find yourself in a relationship and you feel like, okay, you know what? I We, we announced that we're friends or we announced that we're dating or we announced such and such. And something keeps showing itself over and over and over again. Even if other people are like, wow, you can't keep a person. You can't keep a man. You can't keep a woman. You can't keep a friend. You can't keep. Hey, but guess what? You keeping your sanity. <laughs> you keeping your sanity. You are protecting yourself. You are protecting yourself. So um, stay on your throne. Please stay on your throne. And do the energy work. Because this right here is what you're trying to get to. You're trying to get this to this. Like, I don't have anything negative to say about you. But that's not on the same. That's not the, where that's that will disrupt my frequency. So I'm going to have to go ahead and close this out in love. I don't want to think the worst of you. I don't want to think that you're a gaslighter, that you're crazy, that you you could harm me in any way, shape, form, or fashion, that you would have a Cheshire cat grin on your face while you breaking my heart. I don't want to believe all of that. And I'm not delusional. I just doing energy work up front. So essentially, I'm protecting both of our karma. So to some degree, protecting. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. The moon in Cancer uh, it can give you send a lot of uh, a lot of like reminders of a lot of wounds. You know, of who hurt you, who broke your heart, that kind of thing. So be bold and make the first move. This is where you're springing forward. Remember, we had a super full moon in. Um, Where's that card? We had a super full moon in um, 
and a fire sign. And so now that you're on the other side of a long and arduous journey, see how this person is looking back? This is what a person is like thinking. Of. Yes, that's why you got all this air cards right here, really replaying stuff over and over and over again, all the mistakes I made. This is not the day and the time for you to beat yourselves up, Taurus, please. <laughs> Get on your horse and get as far away from this energy, just the thinking about it. And like I said before in the beginning of the reading, that's why I see, that's what I see you doing. See, we're in the, um, the Gregorian calendar, the 10th month, but we know Octo means eight, but you know, that's a whole nother reading. <laughs> anyway, but the number 10, the number 10 means instant manifestation. You are not trying to in instantly manifest going, falling back into a wilderness situation. Like I didn't learn the lesson. That's what all this, this air card is for. Source is saying, take off the blindfolds, learn the lesson. What was going on? This is will extend some grace in somebody's life. What was going on in your life that you didn't see certain things? Did you feel sorry for somebody? You know, where, where did you not vet them carefully because y'all went to the same church or y'all live next to each other or your parents were friends? Like, this is where the lesson is learned so that you can get to this right here. King of Pentacles. It was already predestined for you to be very, very wealthy. This is the wealthiest card in the deck. So source is saying, you know, not that somebody would regret missing out. You know, that would be sitting around waiting like, oh, see, this person could have this life. But see, they, they, they playing too many games. Who is? Anyway, first question is, what makes you feel safe? Second question is, where is your sanctuary, your place of peace? and calm is it an inner state a certain environment or a specific place third question is do you know your female lineage and stories of your mother and your grandmother fourth question is how often do you gather strength from the land and her waters and then last but not least is do you have sufficient solo time filled with self-care filled with self-care yeah this card is attached to libra um so somebody could have definitely had a situation with a Libra or, you know, and just kind of sort of feel, I just don't get along with certain Zodiac signs. I don't get along with certain Zodiac signs. Um, but before you say that, check your birth chart. I put a link below um, to pull your free birth chart so that you don't stunt your own growth. You know, source is trying to make you very, very wealthy. So it's best for you to do the work, the, the, um, the energy work up front. Best that you do the energy work up front before you get that frustrated and block your own money, your own, your own stability, your own wealth. So, courage. Let me be open to courageously taking the steps that are shown. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because it's going to take you all the way back to your family. It's going to take you all the way back to your family and seeing why. Um, like I said before, do you all go to the same church? Are your family friends with each other? Like what, what part are you not vetting? Do you just kind of say like, well, you know, they're close to me or my friends, not friends introduced me to this, this man or this woman and my friends already vetted them. They may be good for your friends, but they may not good for, be for your, you know, good for your values and what you deserve. So here we have 19. I am a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work, and you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. Yep, that is what I have for you. That is what I have for you, Taurus. Um, and again, I'm not just talking to you if your sun sign is Taurus. Definitely not just talking to you if your sun sign is Taurus. Uh, when I look at this right here, I feel like somebody's moon sign is Taurus too. Like the specifically, so you got the reading for the others, but somebody's moon sign is Taurus. And you could be in a situation where two situations emotionally were two women, like in the physical body is a woman's by two women's bodies have physically their their behavior have cut you deep and i'm talking about moon 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 so if your moon is taurus um it's a prerequisite to take things slowly and calmly you know paying proper attention to basic needs touch is important for well-being so somebody have let two female friends and we're talking about um one could have been romantic but one could have been platonic 
where somebody feels like something cuts you deep like a sword, like really, really like a sword. It doesn't really matter what their zodiac signs are. All you know is that um, something about something about the because you are earth signs deal with the physical existence of things i feel like the women were attractive you know like i said one could have been like a um you know like one could have been in an intimate in an intimate sense one could have been in a um in a platonic sense but somebody's going to have to look beyond the physical and really when you're sending out messages to the universe saying to source and i'm not just talking to men either i'm talking to men and women so um and learning exactly what like if you're a person who if your prerequisite is to take things slowly and you're dealing with a person who wants to rush 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 you in whatever way and you need time to process things that's a good time to like I said, from that moon in uh, Gemini, which is when I talk about any Geminis that you know, the moon in Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury, that's a good time to con um, to communicate that I don't like to be rushed. Even if they're saying, "Oh, I feel like I feel like you know you've been doing the same thing. You you're taking too long to process. You taking too long to whatever. You know, if I'm taking too long to process, you going you going. They're not seeing how patient of a person you are. They're not seeing the the good side of your patience and how you take your time, you know, and how you, you know, um, how generous, how much generosity they would benefit from if they were patient with you as a, you know, but again, like I said, if you find that out up front, you save yourself a bunch of, a bunch of this right here, a bunch of this, pay attention when you're meeting people and they talking, they gossiping about everybody else. So they tell you, you know, they tell you that their their family is into some dark stuff. Like, oh yeah, you know, I got an aunt or uncle. They into you know, um, dark magic, and they putting spells and stuff on people. Pay attention to all, like, pay attention to, to all of that. Like, if that's not something you want to align yourself with, say, oh okay, wow, okay, all right. So anyway, that's what I have for you. Um, And let's get this affirmation card and let's go ahead and close it out. So you're springing forward away from the, the negative energies talking about it and also the, the bad ideas about whatever. And I, I guess I cannot reiterate this love interest that's coming across somebody's path. Here we have affirmation for awareness. I am whole. I am present. I am where I need to be. I am focused. I am living in the present moment. That's why you're not falling back into it through your thoughts and all of that and not letting other people drag you backwards. I am grateful for this life. I release all mental clutter. Mental blocks are being cleared. That is what I have for you, Taurus. I'll see you all on Sunday. Bye.